the experience. It's about touch, it's about sight, um, it's about music, it's about sound as well. And um, clearly, the, the 8 megapixel race is being talked about an awful lot. And is it a race? Is it an arms war? Well, hey, we don't really care too much about that. But it is the slimmest, and it's full touch screen, unlike others, of this 8 megapixel moment. It does a variety of things as a camera. It's got a whole set of features, art shot, beauty shot, multiple mode, and it, it does things that other cameras and other camera phones might do, but it's the package of them all together that's so impressive. It, the smart shot's fantastic. We were playing with it in the office, and I'm not very happy. And um, occasionally I break into a smile, and it takes the photograph. Um, I clearly look okay, so I don't need the beauty shot or the blemish thing, but that works remarkably well. And not to the extent of an elephant man, but you know, when you've got a few blemishes you want to take away, it works beautifully. So those detection features are, are fantastic. And um, I make the point again, it's that suite of activity that's going on when it comes to the, the camera phone and the capability of the device. Blink, it's, it's something that we all would say, ah, oh, you messed that up, you blinked. <coughs> well, the phone will tell you if the subject has blinked and you want to take another phone, another uh, camera shot. So that's, uh, that's really uh, a set of features you'll get to know and love as you see the phone later on. One of the things that's interesting about the camera is it's ISO 1600. And we, we made a lot of the 800 capacity of beauty. Well, clearly having 8 megapixels is important, have a shutter speed that allows as much in as it can. So we think that does tremendously proud. Um, the music player is part of a multimedia suite of features. The big thing here is it's Dolby. First ever global launch. Of a phone with <laughs> Dolby um, sound. And, and I have to say that the experience off and on is stark and wonderful. Um, clearly, again, building on beauty, we've got um, different ways of uh, recording and playing back on the device. Slow-mo, fast, 120 frames, 5 frames, loads of things. But it's about, again, what it looks like when you play back on the device and also when you plug it in to the television. Yeah, I think some of you may have seen, at the time of the secret launch, um, the film we used was Iron Man. Some of the footage that's on here is about Iron Man. But again, having said that this is the first ever with Dolby, this is another in the continuation of the phones that LG will bring out in partnership with DivX. So we're extremely proud and pleased about that. Um, I mentioned earlier on about its size, 13.95 mil. So it's the slimmest of these, these 8 megapixel phones. But it's also the one with the full touch screen. And using the full touch screen capability, we're bringing widgets to the device, as you might expect that we would do. It leads us to say a variety of other things and platforms of phones going forward. I, I've used one for a couple of days now, and being able to put certain widgets onto the home screen is fantastic. I can get the weather with one touch. I can get um, uh, onto Google one touch. And the variety of things you can do with that. Clearly, uh, Wi-Fi and uh, connectivity speeds are important. HSDPA at 7.2 would be expected of us, especially with what it does. And um, in truth, we think that we are leading the way, when you put together all of these features, when you put together this suite of feature functionality, and um, we're very proud of the device. We're very proud of the partnership that we've devoted ourselves to and developed with DivX and now with Dolby. And really and truthfully, uh, I want to thank from the bottom of my heart the guys who come here from those two companies because I could stand here and try and answer some of the technical questions that you guys would know how to an uh, ask and I wouldn't know how to answer. But you'll find in a minute that we've got a variety uh, of expertise of different types in the room to help the evening go when it comes to that more technical need. So without further ado, and I thank you for your time and I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening, but back over to Chris. Thank you. Um, okay, well, as you've uh, just seen, it's a pretty, uh, pretty phone, and uh, yeah, first with, uh, with Dolby. So, without any further ado, I'd like to start and chat with Dolby, and he can talk about some of the features that are the first Thank you very much, Chris. Oh. 
Uh, there's no slides, so you can uh, be distracted by this guy with the Yorkshire accent. Uh, I've had a couple of beers, so I'm going to read from my crib sheet. It says, introduce myself. It's important that I say, Jonathan Jarrett from Dolby Mobile. The important bit there is Dolby Mobile shows how seriously Dolby take the mobile sector. And we're very excited about this partnership with LG. Uh, the Renoir is the start of what we hope to be many more devices in the future. And I, I normally make this really simple for myself by saying, pick up the phone and listen to the experience, listen to the music experience when you play back the sound. And actually at that point I can kind of shut up because the technology speaks for itself. Uh, we're really pleased with the results, especially considering how closely the, the engineers in, in, in Korea worked with our own Dolby engineers to, to actually hone and get a very good result, which I'm sure you'll agree with when you listen to it. But Dolby has a mission, which is to uh, enhance uh, and improve the enjoyment of, of multimedia, irrespective of where that multimedia is, is played back. And uh, uh, the, the, the Renoir certainly typifies that, um, uh, which kind of shows why we're excited about this, 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 this first, and I stress my first, global handset that's got Dolby Mobile on. You, you may have read elsewhere that there are, there are a few devices, there's some in Japan, that that's a different story, but this is about LG and about a global handset that works with any operator. Any operator. Any operator. Yeah. So, a little bit of background. Uh, Dolby is currently uh, enabled in over 3 billion consumer electronics devices. Dolby obviously have worked with LG for some time in that department, and we certainly see this almost new venture for Dolby, certainly not for LG, in actually extending that reach and that penetration. Again, fitting our mission where we're agnostic of where the playout actually occurs. It's a question that some people ask, so, so, so Dolby and mobile, why now? Um, there's some particularly good reasons. We've had to wait for our own technology to be kind of shrunk so that it would work well with the chipset that's available in uh, mobile devices. We've had to wait for mobile devices actually to, to, to kind of have enough of a multimedia driver or a multimedia need to use the Dolby technology. And of course, there's a consumer ex, 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 almost anticipation or they expect to use Dolby technologies anywhere these days because you get them in car, in the cinema, you get them in your home entertainment and on your PC. So it's just a natural extension of that. We had to wait for all these things to align before we can actually make this announcement, which is why some people may say, if we do it now, why didn't we do it last year? We have to wait. So Dolby is about removing barriers. And the topic this afternoon was about convergence. Uh, this handset we see typifies convergence in that it allows you to play your content, which may work fine on your PC, may work fine on your set up box. It now allows you to make it work just as well and get that same enriched experience on a mobile device. So I think it, it kind of, you can see where Dolby is taking this mission to play content out on, on, on any possible device. It, it, it's also important that I point out that um, the relationship with LG is not Dolby just throwing some technology over the fence saying, they are guys, get on with it. Because it, it opens up to LG the, the 40 plus years that Dolby's have in, in, in audio and entertainment in making sure that the handset has been very validated and engineered to the best we can get from that piece of electronics. And obviously, it sets the foundations for where we're hoping to take this relationship in, in, in the future. Finally, I know we've got lots to talk about, and I'm sure you're going to have lots of questions that are much better in one to one than actually playing with the handset. Um, our, our users, in, our users in, in, in all all walks, tell us that the Dolby brand means something to them. It means quality. It means the entertainment experience has been lifted uh, in some way, and we think that that brand coming together with the LG brand should set the Renoir apart from some of the competition, showing that we really take enjoyment and multimedia very, very, very seriously. And other than me just wrapping up, saying obviously any questions can catch me later, uh, that's about it. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Uh, moving on from, uh, from the sound, which of course uh, is very important, but sound is nothing about vision. And uh, I think you know, the DivX being a part of uh, LG Bones for some time now, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, 
so I'm quite excited to see what we can do now with that. So I'll hand over to Andy. Let's hear about that. Thanks all. Uh, I'm Andy Glasson. I'm a sales manager for DivX in the UK and uh, Scandinavia. And uh, again, thanks to LG for inviting us along to this launch. Um, LG is a very important partner for us, and uh, you'll learn out and learn why. What is DivX? Um, I'm guessing most of you know something about DivX here. Um, the good way, the best way of getting your head around DivX is we're the MP3 for video. Why? Because DivX is an efficient codec that's very easily shared or distributed. And that lends itself to sharing over the computer, over the internet, um, taking content off your computer and sharing on devices, say in the living room, but now on portable devices, mobile phones. Uh, this is just a little bit of background on DivX. Um, we're a profitable company, we're working with a lot of key players. Um, I won't dwell on this too much. DivX, you probably know us more from where we are with uh, DVD players, DVD recorders. Um, we have a large footprint in those devices, but also we've expanded, importantly now, into mobile devices. So, uh, LG is a key partner for us. We've also worked at a chip level, so Qualcomm chips are certified for DivX. Um, but importantly, we have an ecosystem of other devices, and this is where Div DivX is a little bit different to other formats which may be closed. We're an open format. We're very happy for the content to be shared between devices. And that's where we feel we uh, offer some differentiation compared to the competition. Just some metrics for you. Why is DivX popular? Why is LG including DivX in the mobile phones? Well, we've had 400 million downloads of the software player or converter um, that plays on, on notebooks and PCs. Who here has downloaded uh, DivX content or, or played it back on a PC? So some of you would be familiar. So you're part of those metrics. Secondly, we've certified in excess of 100 million devices. A lot of those devices are residing in the living room, which gives us a nice footprint there. But now we've expanded into the mobile space. And that's really exciting for us. And uh, importantly on mobile, at the moment when you've been taking video, generally, you could upload it to a site, perhaps YouTube, or, or play it back on an application on a, on a PC. With DivX, with our ecosystem, you can take that content and now share it on other devices. If uh, a product is going to be DivX certified, it goes through a certification process. To have a DivX logo on a phone like the Redmar, it's gone through certification. We've tested it on various video clips. We're certified to the uh, QVGA level. And um, that's, that's a fair amount of testing. Obviously, as you're aware, there's a lot of different content and different bit rates, etc., out there. And so through our testing, we ensure playback. I also talk about uh, software that's bundled with this phone as well. So what are the use cases? Well, there is content out there on the internet that can be downloaded to the phone, but there are issues with that. But probably the most popular use case at the moment is side loading. So you're finding your content, um, transferring it off the internet to your PC, copy it onto a card or USB onto the phone, and then uh, watch the phone on the go. But also, um, with the quality of DivX video, you can play it back on a large screen and have a great experience there. This is the third LG phone that we have certified for DivX. So originally it was the uh, Beauty, now the Secret, and importantly the Renoir. Bundled with the phone comes some DivX software. It's a, a very simple application. It's simply drag and drop your content and it will convert it into DivX. So that supports the likes of MP1, uh, WMV, etc. Or if you have um, certain uh, DivX footage, which is of high specifications, you can run it through the converter at mobile settings, and it's going to play back perfectly on the phone. So that software, which we have available on our website, but generally buy. So uh, that's bundled with the phone, and it, it's an important part of the package that you're getting with the LG Beauty. And that ends my presentation.
Okay, happy to tell you.